Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today is Thursday, September the 5th, 2013, and we're looking at the India Bombay Stock Exchange, the BSE, for this particular video. I uh, may look at another chart as well, but uh, we'll start off with the India Bombay Stock Exchange, like I said, BSE. Uh, this one has been in a down move for, for a bit here, and we've seen this going on for a while. There's been some uh, major swings to the upside uh, along the way, but again, it was just a setup before more move lower. Uh, now we have something going on. It's actually a bit confusing. Now. It's uh, not confusing. It's very clear, but it's difficult to say which direction it's going to go. So let me show what we're looking at here. Uh, you had this obvious sell-off here. You had a bounce here, and then you got another sell-off at this point here, and we come down here, and that has stopped this, this low point here. We got a couple signals along the way. We got this signal here. We didn't get confirmation and you got this bounce we warned about this bounce here it would just be a test of the neckline and that neckline typically you'll find resistance there and you'll simply go lower and finish the move that you were originally set up for with the original head and shoulders formation that was right here and that's what happened um, so whenever you're looking at that move and you, you get the hammer candlestick formation obviously you get the black arrow indicating we have a possible reversal here look for confirmation and next day you got that she takes off she goes higher now at this point in time you stay bullish for a couple of reasons. One, you had this before, this uh, bearish divergence formation we warned about, talked about the low points here were trending up while price was actually going lower. That means it's overshot to the downside and it's going to reverse course and go the other direction. You don't want to just start buying when it does that. You want to wait for the reversal signs like that right there. And so you've got that. Now you get the reversal and you get a higher point here than you had here, right? And you get a pullback that gives you a higher low than you had here. So trend is starting to turn right and you get all that and you come up here and again you'll notice that now the second time in a row not in a row but here and here you actually are closing above the neckline okay so again all of that would be um, bullish condition you would look at that and say okay this looks pretty bullish also you could look at the overall pattern of the bottom and try to find some kind of a signal there and you could say that we have in this particular case this first shoulder down the head formation second shoulder down and then back up whenever you're looking at that you want to draw the the neckline from the uh, close here and close here simply do that and say okay this is a potential inverted head and shoulders pattern which will call for a bottom and reversal back in the bullish move you don't know that until you close above this new neckline right here so we're going to watch this if she closes above that start buying she's going to move higher you can measure the distance out between these two points and add that to the breakout tells you test the previous high right okay so all of that is uh, very clear there's another way to read this chart and so I would either take profits tighten the stop whatever you do at this point but if you get the breakout to the upside above that neckline just drew then I'd be a buyer again in that scenario uh, but there's something else that could happen here and you can go ahead and draw that out right quick whenever you look at this you could also draw it like this and say okay well off this high point here this high point here and this high point here we have this trend line right we could also take from this low point here and this current low point here and say well we draw like this this would look like a rising wedge that would be a bearish condition like we had back here it takes time to develop and things of that nature so um, it's not something you start short shorting now you'd wait for a sell signal like so uh, or you would wait for the proper formation to wait for when you're looking at the, uh, the um, a rising wedge is to close below it whenever that gets pierced and you actually come down and you close below it then you start selling we talked about that one that one was developing and it gave you this opportunity here so in this case here you wouldn't start selling here you do have this little sell signal though right here and that's what some people are going to look at it, getting all confused about and saying wait a minute now we're we're overall big move lower here and then we bounced up here and we have some higher highs and some higher lows so I don't know which way we're going here that's it you just don't know so what I it's like I said earlier if you break out in the previous uh, formation that I showed you then obviously this isn't going to be a rising wedge because a breakout above that move would not be within the wedge pattern and wouldn't wouldn't line up if instead you just kind of trade within this range for a while and keep doing this remember that the rising wedge typically breaks out 70% completed before the lines actually cross so you remember if you actually drew this out here you would see that the lines would cross eventually uh, so before that actually happens about 70% completed before you start to break out to the downside it's not an exact science it's just a rough estimate but anyway the signal will be the same you would always look for the close below at that point start selling you go lower all right, quick little update on the TNX chart here, the 10-year Treasury note yield. We talked about this uh, several times. We talked about there's a big move that has happened back here, and it's actually not even on all of it on this chart. So you had this massive move to the upside here, and then you had this consolidation phase. We talked about you be, be a buyer in that because it's not the, the high. It's just the consolidation phase before you duplicate the first leg, this whole thing, 
out the other side, right? So we talked about that, and we told you you could do different things. You could either buy in this little pullback like this in this time period, or you could wait for the breakout, which occurred here. And then we recently had this little rally up here, and then we pulled back. And I told you when that was going on, this was another buy opportunity because it was simply testing the previous resistance to see if you find support. You do, and you bounce off, and we told you you can take out this level. So you're, that's what you're doing now. Uh, all that's perfectly in line. However, this is something that's going to affect your economy in the U.S. It's as long as um, bond yields are rising, that means bond prices are falling, and that would, of course, be um, stuff that's going to affect your economy in things like um, your, your loans for um, housing and things like that. So that's starting to be uh, an issue for the market, and it's going to continue to be as, as higher and higher we go. So again, you want to be very, very cautious this market. The economy is not strong here, and it's still been argued, and I think uh, probably uh, in a very good way, uh, that the, the Fed by this chart is losing control of the um, uh, yields, basically, um, because of what's going on. And you're seeing this happen globally as well. So it's something to keep an eye on. Remember, as rates got higher, you saw Greece uh, get into a situation where they say, you know what, we can't afford these, we have to default or get bailed out. So that's going to start happening more and more as rates continue to, to raise. So keep an eye out for that. That's a very important issue that's going to be a global issue. If you've not been to the free website at perfectstockalert.com, it's right there. It's 100% free. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Also, if you're looking for my personal charts, and I've updated many of them, including uh, Europe today, we've, uh, we've actually been uh, tracking some buy signals that were set up uh, for, for a while there in Europe, and they're starting to take off, so pay attention to that. Uh, market charts are right here on the, on the website, and again, they're updated nightly, short-term, three-month daily, as well as the two-year weekly long-term charts. God bless. Take care. Remember, tomorrow is Friday, and then we have a nice little weekend, okay? God bless. See you then. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit, loss, or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.